नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टी इज लाइफ फोन एंड इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तनवी खुराना एंड हियर वी आर विद एन इंग्लिश क्लास टाइटल्ड स्टोरी राइटिंग वेल यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन टॉपिक स्टोरी राइटिंग यू हैव रेड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टोरीज बट is it easy to write a story what are the detailing involves is it uh, too difficult do we need a lot of grammar do we need a lot of vocabulary in it our sentences should be correct or what should be the story line there are a lot of details that i think i should know while writing a story and i'm sure that you also think the same so all the ninth class children you're watching us on evidya channel number 9 and uh, if you have any questions you can simply give us a call on our number which is 8800440559 if you want to email us your queries the email id would be dt h dot class nine at the rate c i e t dot n i c dot i n. Let me please introduce to you our guest for today, who will be giving you all the details regarding storied writing, and she is Miss Rashmi Grover. A very warm welcome to you, ma'am. Hello, ma'am is a T G T in English from Directorate of Education, New Delhi. And before we begin this program, I have an important announcement to make that is regarding India's G Twenty presidency. Well, we are extremely proud that India assumed G Twenty presidency and will convene the G Twenty Leaders Summit for the first time in the country this year. That is 2023. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding the pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family. And with this let's begin this particular program and uh, my first question to ma'am would be ma'am like i said that there are a lot of detailing but yeah. uh, why do you think that this is an appropriate topic for ninth class children well there are certain nuances mm -hmm. like generally the elements of the story they get missed okay and the coherence that matters for good scoring it generally gets missed so that is why i guess it's really important to talk about story writing and don't take it that lightly just mm. to really score well mm. okay okay uh, so ma'am if we talk about the role of conflict in a story what yeah. will that be is it too important uh well yes uh, like okay fine moving towards the story writing session i guess that can be dealt better this mm. question then i guess sure yeah so story writing uh this word actually uh, i guess in my point of view it brings alive so many memories and help us run our horses of imagination uh, wild okay. isn't it so we all want to write an impressive story and everybody wants to read good stories and uh, writing an impressive story that is why this concern is quite valid that why a session on story writing hmm. so i would like to ask you tanvi yeah, do you like stories i love stories and uh, what uh, like reading i yes i like particularly reading and not writing oh, which ones um love stories some suspense wow. stories <laughs> <laughs> so uh, moving ahead let's learn about story writing skill okay so uh, yes now coming on to the nuances why we are doing this session like because story has the following elements it has a beginning it has few characters a few uh, it's a setting should be there location setting or location some conflict and finally a solution these are the following elements which we should take care while writing a story so one by one we will be looking after addressing why these elements uh, what all these elements contain like the beginning lines beginning lines could be as is there on the screen or uh, once upon a time as soon as it was a sunny day hmm. she was getting ready for the one fine day so these are a few beginning lines which can be uh, helpful whenever you are beginning a line okay. uh, story sorry so next is the characters fewer the better so yeah one main character one or two supporting characters it could be relatives friends villain wise or funny characters 
like using adjectives for them brave, innocent, intelligent, cunning etc. Uh, you have any question you have till now? Sorry ma'am. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay fine. We say the characters fewer the better. Why? Because if we have more than one character it is really going to create some trouble like we uh, it's, it gets difficult to get hold of the stories. That is why generally we keep the characters fewer the better so that we keep a track and it is just a short story. Okay. Keeping a track on how the story is moving, it is better to keep them fewer. So, but what if uh, there are a lot of characters in the story? See, uh, you must have seen in the movies. Hmm. Movie is a three hour long drama hmm. and there if there are so many characters, hmm. but just because it is too long, hmm. they still can follow it, track it and uh, the story it can tie the viewer. Hmm. But in story which is a short one, a small one, hmm. uh, we will be talking about the word limit. Okay. When it is that small, hmm. then keeping an eye on one character or one sub plus one supporting character is much better. Okay. Keeping a hold on it and finish it well in time and within that word limit. Okay. So, that is why. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if we are talking about the characters, uh, can we say that uh, there has to be one protagonist? Yes, the main character is the protagonist. Hmm. It could be an antagonist too, oh, like okay. maybe, maybe you see uh, bringing a twist in the story mm. that is how we say. So, it is uh, why we need to be creative by writing a story that antagonist may be his life story you might be discussing depending on see from exam point of view mm. you may not have that kind of liberty too much of liberty but okay. yes if at all you are going to uh, take up this uh, as a profession in future, hmm. your point goes really valid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, moving ahead, then hmm. comes the setting or location hmm. wherein uh, choose one set setting, hmm. sorry, a uh, forest, school, road, market, hmm. and uh, sights and sounds like fading light, traffic congestion, whispering birds noise of the vehicles. May I ask why are sights and sounds uh, so important? What role do they play? Uh, see, sights and sounds actually gives us that pleasure of imagery. Okay. You feel like yes, you are there in the story. Okay. So, whenever we are reading a story or we are watching some drama like that, you feel like oh, I am there, I am just moving ahead with that protagonist or uh, the main character. Giving you feel it a like. real feel. Exactly, okay. exactly. So, that is why the sights and sound matter. Okay. But uh, yes, uh, it all depends on your creativity or the time, li time limit or word limit wherein you can just use them, but try using them. It really gives uh, much more effect on how you are taking up the story, the way it is moving. Okay. Yeah. Then next we have a conflict, then last we have conflict and the solution. Hmm. For example, here introduction of the problem. Ranjit misplaced his wallet. It is a problem, introduction of the problem. Hmm. And in the second part, I guess you can see on your screen, it is there is a solution of the problem. He found it at last under the sofa. Hmm. Similarly, on first part, you can see Manpreet missed the school bus. In the second part, can you read it for me? A neighbor helped her reach the school in time. This is what happens with us. No, we <laughs> normally miss the school bus and suddenly some a savior comes. So, a solution is there. Yeah. No, so conflict has a happy ending. Okay. Generally, we go for a happy ending. No, hmm. so yeah. Next, now thinking from exam point of view. Hmm. Uh, in exams, generally, what happens is that. Opening, opening lines are given, hmm. sometimes outlines are given, hmm. sometimes an image is given okay. on which we are supposed to write a story. Hmm. So, yes, uh, now here I am taking an example. So, let us create a story for the given opening lines. Okay. So, as it says, it was a dark moonless night. Hmm. Bholu was returning home after his late night shift duty. And he was walking as he had missed the last bus. Suddenly, he. What could have happened later? Tell me. Uh, suddenly, he sees uh, that the wind is rustling. Oh, wow. 
and uh, the there are raindrops so it, it has started drizzling wow so you're my god sights and sounds and so you can imagine uh, learners that say uh, tanvi has uh, suddenly given us a rainy season and some drizzling is happening so you can imagine that mm. the character must be like getting wet on mm. on a dark no so the it's a dark night and he's walking just because he has missed the last bus so it, it it might give him a happy mood or it may just turn the atmosphere gloomy yeah so let's see what i have written mm -hmm. although atanvi has given really a good twist but <laughs> let's come on to what we have uh, written mm -hmm. uh yeah suddenly he heard somebody faintly calling his name okay he got a little scared and increased his pace of walking oh it was unusually quiet and dark that day the faint footsteps felt coming closer mm. bolu started running mm. after a few minutes he reached a full lit market area uh, if we uh, go by the structure or the elements of the story writing see a beginning is already been given in the opening lines yes fine character it's already he's already there mm. bolu uh like the protagonist is already there mm. setting location has somewhat uh, been a uh, convey through these opening lines yes. that yes it could be a road hmm. uh, we may have given a twist like it's raining or he just took a turn towards some deserted area hmm. we could have but i just kept it on the road only okay. just because we wanted to stay on that location and not uh, distracting getting distracted and uh, losing the track of where we want to move our story on okay you may you have full liberty <laughs> but i am keeping it on one location only mm -hmm. then there is conflict uh conflict is like he had missed the last bus in the opening lines mm -hmm. and i have given it a more uh extended it by what can you see some conflict in the lines uh yes it said uh, that uh, no he got a little scared and increased his pace of walking why 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 because uh, he heard someone faintly calling his name yes so he and he felt that those uh, faint footsteps are coming closer to him yeah what could have happened next um i think um, it turned out uh, that uh, the one who has been calling his name yeah. is is a friend of his <laughs> <laughs> Then we you just got hold of the suspense. Oh my God, it was too easy a story. He slowed down and looked back. Hmm. Somebody was running towards him. Bolu noticed Shahzeb, a ah. colleague, a colleague from his office. Shahzeb gained breath and said, "Bolu, hmm. I've been following you since you left the office." Oh. Bolu asked, "But why? Hmm. You dropped your wallet in the office. By the time I tried to stop you, you had left," said Shahzeb. Hmm. So Bolu realized his mistake and thanked him. He explained his confusion, and later on they had fun together, thinking about the incident. So we can call it a happy ending. Yes, <laughs> it's uh, intentionally a happy ending. That conflict was there. Hmm. Then there is, there is a solution that what happened, hmm. and story gets concluded within uh, the time, within time, and within that word limit also. Right, ma'am. Um, hmm. Yeah. So, um, depending on the children's creativity or yeah. imagination, it could have been an open-ended story as well. Sure, sure. This is what I said. Now you just take liberty. Ah. You can have. in any way you want to uh, take your story it's now your story hmm. opening lines are given fine but hmm. you may take it in any direction okay. but do keep in mind the word limit and uh, like word limit so that you don't uh, no extend them and uh, sometime we get so engrossed in story writing that we uh, lose the track, the track of, track of time. time yeah and you may lose uh, the important uh, no uh, there are so, uh, so many other questions also hmm. you may get so engrossed in writing story that you may leave the literature part and yeah. there are grammar portion there are so many other questions so uh, yes you can experiment on this as i told you earlier hmm. whenever you want to write a story you have free time you may just write your own story for your school magazines also yeah. there this situation may help you right that you just keep on writing hmm. the way you want to 
Okay. Okay. But and um, can we know that uh, what is the word limit for the yeah, question? Yeah, I'm just coming on to it okay. in the next slide. Uh, let's recall the elements first that sure. there's a beginning, few characters, setting location, some conflict and finally a solution. Mm -hmm. And then some key points to remember is using simple sentences. Mm -hmm. They are to be used preferably in past tense like it's it happened, he saw, he jumped, okay. he uh, like it's all in past tense, the verbs. So, get a, be creative, giving story a title, adding dialogues if possible mm -hmm. and there should be a theme which runs throughout the elements of the story mm -hmm. like here suspense was there. Right. And now we come on to the word limits 100 to 120 words. Uh, see in general mm -hmm. if you are writing 10 words in a line then 10 to 12 lines should be sufficient and uh, you may count if there are 7 words in a line then uh, 14 to uh, 17 lines would be sufficient okay. and giving the story a title is important because it carries one mark. Title. Two stories, yeah. So, hmm. title as far as I could think I just thought of uh, some titles like uh, it could be Unforgettable Night, a night walk sorry. I thought of them myself uh, hmm. not giving you a chance to think <laughs> of. <laughs> we are short of time so I am just keeping a track of time also now. Uh, so, this is how the title carries one mark, two marks for content, hmm. two marks for coherence. So, ideas should go in a flow, the story, uh, there should be a content, the storyline should be clear, conclusion hmm. should be also be there, not an abrupt ending that ok, oh, 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 120 word limits, should, I should end it here, no. Hmm. So, keeping a track of what your thoughts are, jotting down the points and then like keeping a draft of it and then giving it a shape. Okay. So, some opening lines and outlines are given for your reference, you may just make a story on it. Uh, picture for story, uh, a picture is given and some questions are given hmm. like who is in the picture, what hmm. is happening in the picture, what could the character might be feeling or thinking. So, these uh, this feeling or uh, circumstances may give rise to some conflict, conflict is some danger okay. or maybe some things they want and they are unable to actually uh, mm. gain it or get it. So, okay. that gives a rise to conflict. Mm. So, I and identify the location as in here a lady is thinking she wants to buy it or she is thinking she is short of funds or she is looking for some birthday gift. Okay. This is something which comes out from this picture for story. So, if an image is given these kind of questions would help you. So, basically from this picture and the set of questions given the child has to create a story yes. where all the answers of these questions should be mentioned. Yeah, they get if they get answered that at least you will have a short story hmm. ready for you. Right. So, another picture to think of like it is for your homework, you may think of it whenever you want to that what is happening. So, uh, keep in mind uh, these questions so that uh, a story gets created. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> from, from my side happy story writing. Absolutely to Thank all you. the children who are preparing yeah. uh, they are going to uh, keep all the points you have given in mind. Yeah. Uh, Mom, what if uh, the beginning is not given? Uh, and the children have to begin the story on their own. So, uh, is it mandatory for use uh, for uh, them to use those uh, beginning sentences you gave or it could be anything at all? No, it, it actually gives a good impression that yes, you are uh, there on the track like on the screen you can say which I did not touch hmm. this uh, outline is given cold winter night all sound asleep. So, here we can say that it was some linkers some uh, conjunctions and some things to join the sentences. Okay. So, an intro actually takes a shape, hmm. intro actually helps you to take a shape and then move forward. If an intro is not there then yes uh, beginning lines these support you to okay. frame a story in a better way. Okay, I yeah. remember uh, this very common story which is once upon a time there lived a king. It may not be once upon a time, <laughs> it could be like see here cold winter night, it was it was a cold winter night. It just join, just uh, use this sentence and you may use in this uh, given outline only. Okay. You do not have to add, add up too much, keep in mind the words mm. and then 120 word limit will uh, obviously, the taking the help of these phrases and all mm. that, join them, mm. add in some spices, so you will be ready with the story. 
Amazing, amazing. Yeah. I'm, I think our children are great at uh, adding spices. <laughs> <laughs> they are. And, and vegetables and what not. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. It was a wonderful interaction. And even I would like to try writing a short story sometime yes. very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> for now, yeah. to all the children, all the very best uh, for your story writing. And uh, uh, please keep the word limit in mind, uh, like ma'am said, and don't lose the track of time because in a examination you don't have much time you have to cover the entire exam so story writing is just a part of it and all the very best for that thank you so much for watching this program i really think that these points are going to be very very helpful when you start writing those stories and you can practice it in advance beforehand as well so thank you for being with us it was an amazing program if in case you have missed it you can watch it on ncrt official it will be uploaded there very very soon so uh, do not go anywhere because we have a lot many programs left uh, for this day and uh, the next upcoming program is a science program for all the ninth class children and the topic is chapter 5 cell the fundamental unit of life so stay here keep your questions ready and uh, i'll take a leave of you but uh, not before the announcement we generally are making these days so that you don't forget that is about india's g20 presidency we are extremely proud that india assumed g20 presidency and will convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year that is 2023. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of Vasudeva Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. With that, thank you so much once again. Please take care. Namaskar.